climate change may be increasing the amount of pollen in the air. The study appears in an article in USA Today, and the author is Wendy Koch, and she joins us live from Washington, D.C. Wendy, thank you so much for uh, taking time with us. Now, we want to ask, first of all, how is that even possible? What is it about climate change that's kind of making those numbers stand out? Right. Good question. And it does seem a little bit surprising, in fact, but the, what, what's involved here is um, carbon dioxide. This is a heat-trapping greenhouse gas, and the more carbon dioxide we release into the environment when we drive our cars or use fossil fuels, the more plants generally grow and the more pollen they produce. All right. So the next big question is, all right, it's, it may be more intense. What about the length? It feels like an endless season already for sufferers. Is it going to lengthen the allergy season? Well, that in fact has already been happening. There have been studies that show the allergy season has, ragweed in particular, has lengthened like more than two weeks in some northern cities like Minneapolis uh, in the last 15 years. So that is happening already. So what, what can we expect from over-counter medications? Is this something that one more of us are going to have to uh, deal with and do they work? Well, you know, they do work for some people. It depends on just how sensitive you are. Uh, for some folks, they say their allergies have gotten worse than last year, and over-the-counter medicines aren't working so well, and so they're also doing things like allergy shots in addition. Uh, but there's, there are things that we can do. Um, obviously, you can not go outside as much on, on those days when you know the pollen counts are high. Uh, and then there are other things, obviously, in a bigger sense that maybe we need to um, reduce some of those uh, greenhouse gas emissions. And not to put you on the spot, but real quickly, obviously we're talking about medications. What about health care costs? That's always a big issue. Well, absolutely. There's uh, doctors ex definitely expect there will be an increase in health care costs. Uh, a lot of people who have um, not only suffer from hay fever, but also allergic asthma. And so climate change is exacerbating that. And in fact, it, um, we're seeing more visits to the emergency rooms of people who do have asthma, partly because there's also more ozone in the atmosphere. That's another impact yeah. of climate change. And so with more ER visits, we're going to see more health care costs. Absolutely fascinating stuff. Wendy Koch from USA Today, thank you so much. Uh, interesting perspective, uh, something that we'll be, I'm sure, following for years to come.